So like any other engineering college, we had our own rules and restrictions about dressing on campus. So here is how I dressed and how I dress today. This is Manusa and welcome to my channel. It's windy today. which is in Bellor near Chennai in Tamil Nadu. Uh, some of the dress restrictions were like no star tops, no short clothes, but I am super duty. Super duper, super duper happy that there was no uniform. This is one of my dresses from Anne. Or maybe I could say it's an collection because I had like so many clothes only from Anne when I was in my college because I kind of try, um, liked the vibe of the brand I think I can say because uh, I was always attracted to the kind of prints, the kind of fabrics that they used and uh, it was kind of new actually when I was studying I think it was a little bit new in the market and not many people were buying exactly from Anne so it actually made me stand out like people would always ask like uh, where did you buy that dress from and you know that indirect secret happiness that people ask like where did you buy your dress from so clothing was always like a way of expressing my personality um, but you know what I feel a lot of our clothing depends so much upon the environment around us the place we go to um, yeah, but right now I work in like a high fashion environment so I'm super glad that I get to wear anything that I want. Although you know buying new clothes has given me like instant joy but uh, I think there's some kind of underlying power when you wear with new clothes and the way you feel about yourself. I felt that many times. Did you feel that way? Now I present you a very sweet looking innocent girl just out of her school, school I mean. Here's a green striped t-shirt, a white colored trouser and a very sweet looking simple girl on campus. about how our on-campus fashion was definitely there were so many fashion icons and I have to definitely mention about the kind of fashion shows that we had which were like incredible and I can undoubtedly close my eyes and say that they were like the best in the game. they are like awesome awesome because the first year that um, I saw the fashion show at our uh, best Rivera I was amazed. I was like mind blown. I was like, like I came from a place where fashion wasn't a big deal at all. Neither anybody spoke about a career in fashion. So it was all my own interest or my own self learning that uh, I had to explore this field. Because I did not have access to everything that they were wearing at that time because fashion wasn't so easily available then.
reason could be if you had to settle in for few things but when you have the chance to be yourself you should there's nothing called being too late in life I think in every college there is this competition like who dresses well and who is that popular kid in school, which I certainly was not. But yeah, they were definitely icons who even I looked up to in my college. I don't know if I should I can be telling out the names, but uh, there were definitely some of my seniors who dressed amazingly. I was so flattered, a girl being flattered on a girl. <laughs> when somebody asks me like uh, who's your inspiration i really cannot take one single name because i feel so many people inspire us in so many different things in this world uh, somebody inspires you to be a better person and somebody inspires you in passion somebody inspires you to come out of your fear inspiration is always all around us it's just about you taking it in Sometime back, wearing long skirts was the way of life for me. But right now, it turned more towards wearing short, <laughs> short skirts. And uh, here, you can see I accessorized it with all the cool accessories possible. Because you know what, life is big. You know, like try, try so many things, try out new things every single day of life. like share and subscribe if you like this video i will see you in the next video until then bye bye